1914. Edmondo Ricchetti. Once upon a time, there was the Belle Epoque. Forty years of prosperity in every corner of Europe. Years of inventions and discoveries, of progress and the avant garde. Years of the Ballo Excelsior and La Boheme, of Can Can, Waltzes, and the Orient Express. Those were the years of colonies and nationalism, too, of precarious balances, arms races, and attacks. There was a fire smouldering under the ashes, but you had to look deep down to see it. In May 1914, Edmondo Ricchetti, previously secretary and then director of Generali, published a 15 page pamphlet in Vienna in which he invited all European citizens to join him in founding the association Europäischer Staatenbund, Union of European States. All the peoples of Europe, regardless of where they come from, want peace. All peoples, without distinction of class, will be delighted to see the European states united and bound together to banish the horrors of war. Relying on numbers and statistics, Ricchetti saw war coming and pointed to the creation of a united Europe as the only way out, based on four main objectives. Disarmament, the introduction of a single direct taxation, free circulation of main goods, and, being the good insurer that he was, the establishment of compulsory life insurance for all citizens. Ricchetti was a perfect generali official. A child of Central Europe, he lived in Vienna, but had always worked between the two worlds, between Italy and the Empire. His pragmatic and pacifist pamphlet confirms once again the company's international vocation. The people do not want war, but peace. They do not want those monstrous expenditures for armies that lead peoples to poverty, but economic recovery and the well-being of peoples. Vienna was the city where, in 1882, Generali founded its first subsidiary in a building near the cathedral. When Ricchetti died on the 12th of August 1914, his most dire prophecies had just come true. On July the 28th, a month after the Sarajevo attack, Austria had declared war on Serbia.